Okay, we're here with the winners of the Alabama Bass Trail South Division at Lay Lake. Chuck Graham. Bill Granberry. Bill Granberry. Right. Guys, it's a great job on the on tournament. Now, give us a little idea of what you did to finish first. The last time I talked to you guys, you just come off the stage and taken the lead. There were still quite a few people behind you weighing in. So, also kind of go through the thought process. You had to sit back and watch all these other anglers weigh in. Yeah. Well, that was stressful. We uh, we probably thought after we weighed in, we didn't have enough. You know, uh, we kind of thought it'd be a 22, 23, 24 pound day to win. Uh, but you know, candidly, we just worked hard. Um, we're we're lay late guys, so we kind of know where where to go. We put in a good practice, and um, you know, I, I really can't pinpoint it down to any bait or lure or anything like that. We just kind of try to outwork everybody, and uh, we move a lot. Now, sometimes going to a lake that you're that familiar with, especially this this time of year, you got a lot of changes with the water. The water temp really rose real quick. Sometimes you get kind of stuck in doing what you normally do for the time of year. Uh, tell me how you guys kind of, while you're on the water, made the adjustments to not get kind of caught up in that trap. Well, uh, today we did something, you know, fishing, it evolves what you do. And today we did something we've never done. We sort of, the water got too warm too quickly. And we felt like the fish we caught, we caught 18 pounds last week and they were biting good. And we felt pretty good. But those fish seemed to be on the bed and we just weren't behaving. They wouldn't play, and so we, you know, we, we, we changed where we went, trying to target pre-spawn fish, and uh, we'll probably have to do that more. Uh, I'm probably giving away too much, but it was a, it was a good decision for today. It helped us. Well, I've always said that you know tournament fishing is a game of decisions, and the guys that make the right decisions on tournament day are the ones that typically do the best. So now you guys are leading for Angler of the Year. It's, it is the first tournament, so there's a lot more left to do. The next tournament is on Lake Martin, so give me an idea of kind of what your thoughts are looking to Lake Martin. It's going to be different. Uh, we're Lake Lake guys, <laughs> and Lake Martin is not Lake Lake. Um, I don't know. We'll have to put in a good practice. Uh, you know, we fished it with the ABT two years ago. I think we had a top 50 maybe. Um, but you have to look at Lake Martin different, right? It's a game of ounces. Here, you know, it's a, and it's a game of ounces between 1 and 100. Here it's a game, it's, it's a game of pounds between 1 and 100. So we'll have probably take a completely different approach at, at Lake Martin. We'll try to win. We tried to win this, but, but at Lake Martin we'll probably just try to just cull up as many times as we can. Yes, I understand that is a completely different fishery than what we have here. Right. But I think if you guys kind of approach it with the same game plan, ready to make the changes during the day, you should do well. We hope so. Yes. Still building legends, one at a time.